Hi everyone, this is going to be a sound test of the Rode Link wireless audio system from Rode Microphones. Um, the microphone, as you can see, is attached with the clip to my shirt um, and just the bare microphone as there's not much wind in my room um, that could distort the signal. Um, right now I am powering the transmitter via micro USB from my Thunderbolt dock and the receiver is powered with two AA batteries. Uh, I have done a previous test where I powered the, transmit, um, the transmitter via micro USB and the receiver, um, but for the receiver I used an AC adapter that went into one of my wall plugs and I immediately had a lot of background noise, crackling, uh, that really distorted the audio signal. Uh, but once now I switch to the two AA batteries, um, I don't hear any interference. I guess if, I, if you switch to both AA batteries in the transmitter and in the receiver, you won't hear any, uh, any background noises. As far as signal, goes and the, and the pairing of the two devices it's pretty easy you just turn them on they search for the best channel in the 2.4 gigahertz frequency range um, and they pair automatically um, yeah of course you can mute on the on the transmitter and on the receiver um, yeah I will include the clip with the interference sound now. Okay, hi everyone. This is a test of the Rode Filmmaker wireless kit with the Rode lavalier microphone. Right now I am powering both the receiver and the transmitter unit via the micro USB. So the transmitter is plugged into my Thunderbolt dock and then the receiver which is on the camera is powered by the, an AC adapter that I had lying around the house. And as you can hear, there's quite some background crackling. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this audio demonstration of the Rode Lavalier microphone. Um, if you wanna know what's in the box, right? Check out my unboxing video right here and I hope you liked it. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, share it with uh, someone you think might enjoy this video, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.